Right, we are back, and I was interrupted at the end of last episode when I'm trying to figure this out because uh, Amazon had some parcels to deliver to me, right? But it was it, it was about time to end the episode anyway, right? What I'm planning on doing is, every time we change these aspects, this door keeps getting raised. I want to get it raised, but we can only change these two pictures. Now, I've had success. Right, so let's touch the screen. There's the reports. Let's try Aspect Yellow this time. Gifted Hacker. No correlation. Don't save. Yes, there is a... There is a correlation between that. Um. Financial boost? Actors' resources were increased. Eleanor was created, yes we know that. The maker gave her exceptional sensibilities and hypersexuality. In her fancy digital home, Haggis provided her entertainment. In exchange, he demanded carnal pleasures. He was happy to oblige. Haggis expanded Elnor's home to the size of a state. Added NPCs and made her queen. He became king. They lived happily ever after. Financial boost factor had a minor impact on the simulation in each cycle, meeting the defined criteria. Emphasize the report's brevity. Fragment of human life reduced to a few brief sentences. They weren't a talkative bunch. Now that didn't actually do anything there. I'm just going to get through these as fast as I can. Correlation. In the confined digital space, she received access to programming tools and eventually broke free. Working as a gifted freelance hacker, she failed to cover her tracks, who was traced by V-Runners and placed in a state digital refuge. The limited resources factor had a minor impact. Hmm. I don't... I didn't, I didn't actually understand what I'm doing here, to be honest. See, you've just got to go through each one. More of the screen slid out, but some part was still submerged beneath the floor. I need to remember what they are. Did I pick Enslaved Diginet? That is the correlation. Right, let's choose financial boost. I'm just going to go through them all because I need to start doing it in a set way because I'll never remember everything. It rose above the floor. Now it's completely out. Painting of the game deck. The screen was floating above the floor. Touch the screen. On the screen I saw a portrait of someone I didn't know, yet it looked strangely familiar. There was also an interface window. It's the game deck! I bet you this is always going to be the opposite gender of what you pick. Sorry, do you know what I start the game when you, you could choose your, your port, portrait? The top row all had like men and then female middle row had like men and female that had a slightly different look and the bottom had men and female that had a slightly different look 
Each enslaved AI is a game deck. This was simulation log active actor. Choose an option. Analyze the active cycle. No data. Active ally. By order of C O John Naba, monitor the game deck's activity and hope he'll lead Jester to the cycle three one four. Shit. Search the reports. Green. Dominant aspect registered and our initial roll was a sleeve. No. Glazier? No. Scalpel? Yes. Game Deck received a job from Jeffrey Haggis. During the investigation, he found an entrance to the simulation editor. Shit, it's the same as what's happened to us. Database error 37. John Naba's order. Keep Game Deck actor resources from simulation 314. Resource allocation code. Nizi Ni. An image struck me. I walked up to a computer and put my hands on the keyboard. My fingers moved in a familiar way, entering the password. I felt a sudden ache as if it was coming from inside my mind. I saw my apartment, at least it looked like mine, a bliss hologram, a blue sky past the window and the green glow of the computer screen. They're not my memories. No, this wasn't my apartment. These weren't my memories. It was a vision, that was all. But this apartment was here in Axis Mundi. I saw it again. I was one standing in front of a computer. L Look at the screen in your mind's eye. I looked at the screen, typed the password and saw a long letter. It was from me to me. I wish I had looked at the password. But my body knew it. I knew the password. Procedural memory, also known as muscle memory. The subconscious part of my brain remembered the computer password in this apartment. All I had to do was put my fingers on the keyboard. The image began to fade like paint washed away by rain. I saw Axis Mundi around me again. Shit. Right. Let's try red this time. Sleeve. That's right, because sleeve... I get it now. The colours match up with your fucking professions. This is going to be correct. Yes, it is. Active antagonist. Probably. Yes. Received a job from Jeffrey Haggis. During the investigation, he found an entrance to the simulation... Exactly the same. Let's try it again. Yellow's inspiration, isn't it? Blue must be... Blue... Let's try no modifier. I've actually never tried no modifier before.
Ah, shit. Did that say something new? I don't think it did. No. Right. We've already been through all this. Right. Well, I've managed to get that up, but I don't know... I've got nearly everything. Yes, there's the gatekeeper of Axis Mundi. We know it's a game editor. We know that. I don't know why I need to know that yet. Right, okay, so we pissed about with that. Which I'm pretty happy about. I managed to open that up by just fucking about with the, the information. I don't know how it benefited me. I suppose you got the information about us viewing different cycles. Right, so. We want to get... Oh, the code leading to 314's lounge. Blue, green, blue. Blue, green, blue. Let's try this out. We've never been here before, and it's fucked luck. This is... Not my apartment, the bonsai tree. Examine the tree. I didn't have a twin brother. I didn't believe that someone was controlling me. Nothing would make sense then. Free will. Watch it. Big tree, neatly trimmed, well cultivated. Take a closer look. Bonsai tiger bark, Fictus rectusa. I had a bonsai like it. Li I had a bonsai like it at. Wait, this tree is the same as mine. The same trunk and branches. It appeared to be an exact copy of my tree. No, there were minuscule differences. At first glance, it was my bonsai. What was this about? Consider whether this tree was trimmed by your clone. Consider if someone was, was watching you and copied your bonsai. Yes. For all those years, had someone been watching me and trimming a tree exactly like mine? What was the reason? I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like, was someone watching my life and they've created this on purpose? Either way, it's very strange. Let's watch it. Is this going to be the password for the computer that we've got? The computer was similar to mine. A message appeared on the screen, enter the password. Enter the password using procedural memory. I put my fingers on the keyboard, I took a deep breath and exhaled through my lips. One more time I recalled the vision from the gallery. I relaxed my shoulders, closed my eyes, imagined myself that the person, as the person, inhaled, exhaled, didn't think. I let my fingers move on their own. My fingers hit the keys, I had no idea what they wrote. And you touched typing, though I couldn't recall the key layout, so looked at the screen. Password was correct. I had access to mail, local data, even the system. Bliss? This guy's major Doromo was called Bliss? I could activate her. Scan the computer first. Multiple iterations of Bliss, multiple relationships with game decks. What was this about? Watch it. Why does it keep saying watch the fucking tree? I'm not even on the tree. Right. Browse the data. There was nothing at first glance. Empty folders, empty documents. It looked as though all data had been deleted. Check the mail. There was nothing. There was one unsent mail. It was a letter to myself. Shit, that's what we've just watched. I got dizzy. Dispersion in the cloud. The need to destroy the simulation. The tree of knowing. Resets. All his plans here. Motives. Talk to the V-Ghost. 
She's got nothing else to say. Activate the system. I wondered if it would work here. A text document appeared on the screen. A familiar hologram appeared. I wondered if she remembered me. Was that even possible? Oh, hmm. Welcome, stranger. Hey, Bliss, do you recognise me? Um, should I? This wasn't my Bliss. She obviously looked the same and she had the same name, which was less obvious, but it wasn't her. You know what I'm wondering? I wonder if if we had the option to fix Bliss in our world, do you think it would have affected this? Right. Archive the Expanse. Right, what we need to do is we need to get back to the mystery tree. Green, green, green. Because we've got analysis now. We need to make sure we've got everything. I forgot where green, green, green takes me actually. Oh yes, I've, I've already read it. Takes me to the tree. Use Cold Breaker. Examine the tree. The trees also synchronized the activity of this AI. That meant it was it was a control point for Jester, and that the fool's actions need to be synchronized. Did he have more avatars in here or what? Let's download the data from the tree. I gained access. My head was bombarded with information. It came relentlessly fast like stones being thrown at my brain. Access tree repository access Monday error. No limit value set on the transfer. Data is highly confidential. Methods of scanning Sykes operations on quantum databases recreating Sykes. Probabilistic system. Codename Athena. Confidential confidentiality level 7. It fished out the keyword simulation. What was being simulated? Blue Wheels Interactive, non-public projects, modular management. It was Blue Wheels Interactive, what were they doing? The amount of data was staggering, but if I stopped the transfer I would never be able to access it again. Keep transferring the data. I decided to keep downloading. All It all happened in cycles, in restricted geographical areas, but what made it so important? What did this have to do with me? New information was forcing its way into my brain. Don't stop. I need more data. What were they up to? Were they pro performing illegal psych scans and using golden throne helmets for it? Were they using the DigiNets? I wasn't feeling so good. I was having trouble catching my breath. Whichever, whatever that meant in this world. More. I wanted the rain of fire. I could take it. But there was a warehouse somewhere full of rendons with psychs that resided in some kind of simulation. I wasn't feeling so good. I was having trouble catching my breath, whatever that meant. <sighs> Fucking lads, let's just go balls to the wall. I need more. A uniform language was used for the entire simulation. I started seeing black spots. Block the stream of data. <sighs> right, we had to take it. Yeah, we don't want to die. It worked. My head was spinning like crazy. I wanted to vomit. This could have killed me and not just in this world. Use code breaker. That's it. Right, we've done everything we can with the tree, which is fucking awesome. I got so much info there. What does the simulation contain? Ooh, I wonder if we should have forced that. Would have been nice, but I didn't want to risk it. Right. So, we need to get back to red, 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 no, 
Yellow, yellow, yellow. It should take us back to the statue. Analysis. The labyrinth itself was created by the Diginet and 314. But for what purpose? They wanted to hide. I thought they had built the labyrinth as a place to hide. What's Eleonora's goal? We know that. Right, so we've got everything we can from this. Okay, let's see if we can get... Access, let's save it. I want to get access to the Jester. So that was... Red, 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 wasn't it? Welcome to my domain. Okay, so we can't do anything with this guy. Ask about the job. Sorry, but I have to delete you from the system. Scan the jester. Did I finally discover his weakness? I would have found out more if I had performed a more thorough analysis of the code. How embarrassing, do you really think this little machine can help you? Domination mode. Fightless. That's going to be the end goal, isn't it? I think we're going to have to kill him like that'll be the last thing we do. Right, we're going to go into the expanse. We've got everything we need, I think. Or do we? Fuck. Wait there. Let, ah. Now that we've got analysis, I think, let's... Um, I want this. The unicorn's got to be something. Was it green, green, yellow? Fuck, I forgot. Green? Aha! Something's ha- oh, it's not. I thought something was happening there, but it's not. Fuck. Right, forget about it. We're going to the Expanse. I don't know how else we're going to get anything. Green, yellow, green. What about green, red, green? Let's try green, red, green out of curiosity. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, we've got blue. 
We've never used blue for anything. Oh shit. Green, red, blue, what does that do? Oh shit, see this is new. Oh look, it's the fucking... The robot from the... Huh. The robot from the bar. Right, let's try blue, blue, blue. So many combinations, man, it's like mind blown. I summoned Cold Brick and ordered it to scan the NPC's code. Hmm. There's a sort of hint concern on the road to the fringe. No green colour in the sequence. Well, we already know that. Blue, red, blue. Fox this. The jester again related to the game deck. I see you've come to bother me at work. There you are. I believed in you. But you must run away from here, I'll help you. You're in Axis Mundi, there's no escape in this place. Shit, we found her. That's not true, game deck. You know what Axis Mundi really is, right? We've actually got everything. The labyrinth has a mechanic based on so-called aspects. After death, my avatar respawns in the same place. Jester is a gatekeeper. Old Brick is the key that opens up the paths. My surroundings resemble the inside of the tree of known. It's a game edit, isn't it? I think it's a game editor. It's an editor of worlds. Precisely. Access Monday is a tool for creating sensory worlds which includes everything you've experienced so far. There's no escape in the simulation created by Access Monday. That's not true, Game Deck. The simulation has its limits. You can escape from it in from this exact place, the fringe. What does the simulation contain? I don't think it cre I don't think it contains Relium, because I don't think we were ever in Relium. Only the sensory world. Consider her words. It was my understanding that the simulation affected only games. Maybe escape really was possible. This would be a good moment to make you an interesting offer, but you've already shown you don't want me as an ally. Just I summoned the Well of Code. Look for an escape route. I heard a voice loud and clear. Game deck. Nice, it's 314. Jester pushed against the Diginet's barrier. Let's end this. 
I want to help Eleonora. Hmm. The other did you out. What's going on here? You found me just like I asked. You haven't forgotten about me. It's all too much. I don't understand how I got here, but I know this. We are surrounded by deceit, and Jester watches over it, and we are connected, you and I. And these people we've met before. The wall around her began to fade. Fuck. My faith seems to be connected to that DigiNet. I'm going to help her. I am intrigued by 314, but at the same time... three one four didn't want her to be in the hands of... I'm going to help the DigiNet. Help Eleonora. Hold it, fool. Examine the barrier around the DigiNet. I called Coolbrick and ordered to examine the barrier Eleonora had surrounded herself with. The barrier was basically physical. Its power came down to its ability to regenerate by utilising Eleonora's resources. However, the architect of this place was Jester. He was depleting Eleonora's resources and it was certain he'd soon remove the obstacle. Reinforce the barrier around the DigiNet. That cold break of yours is too much of a nuisance. Distract Jester. You're falling apart fool, it's clear that Relium is toxic to you. Yes, that froze for a fraction of a second, or it just seemed that way to me. He gave a faint smile. Interesting bluff, but ineffective. Escape through the barrier. This was my only chance. Earn my sacrifice game deck. What was the point of all this? I cursed. Do not be afraid. Jump. Fuck, I've got no idea what that was about, by the way, lads. Oh, shit! And that's what... Did I survive, though? I survived the fall? And that's exactly what happened to Ken. And this guy's going to try and shoot me, is he? You've done it. Now rise and come with me. I'll tell you how to escape to reality. Fucking hell, this game's a mind fuck, isn't it? Just now on the walkway, did I die? I crashed just like Ken did. I couldn't have survived the fall. Was I dreaming? How was that possible? I think it happened in virtu Virtualium. It all started when I logged in from Haggis' couch. Everything since must have happened in a sensory world. I died in the game, but physically... Maybe not, I don't know yet. Of course you died. It was as real as it gets for someone in your situation. And how am I speaking to you? I'm not a V-Ghost or some old saved version of me. I remember everything. 
I told you to have no fear and jump because it wasn't really a jump, but a portal between Axis Mundi and Relium. Ken didn't die from Fallen, Jester killed him, leaving Axis Mundi. Whether to a virtual world or Relium, it's not dangerous. You're in a simulation, remember? What you call Relium is a game too, just very realistic, not very fun, in containing virtualia. So you're saying the Labyrinth, the evil AI, it's all real. Now I see why it was so easy for Jester. Use your brain. I don't know. Drink some coffee. We don't have time for hesitation. Don't drink coffee. Let's go. I was holding the cup before I even realised it. It was automatic. Nevertheless, I put it down. Ask about recent events. I need to understand what just happened. You're inside a simulation. We don't have much time. Jester is going to try and delete us again. This time for good and you. You want to chat? Well fine, maybe it'll be easier if you understand everything, right. Why did you save me? I hit the walkway but I didn't die, how? You didn't hit anything, you teleported. You were in the game editor and then you moved into the game level to Relium. I'm starting to worry about constantly having to repeat that. You're in a game, the only difference is you can't log out of it. Right, what about my apartment in Axis Mundi? I saw my apartment in the labyrinth. We're in a simulation, any given place can be simply copied here. Yet, it was your apartment, but from the previous iteration. That's why it could have been a bit different from this one. The DigiNet copied it before the simulation reset to show you what reality is. Nothing dispels doubt better than a copy of a familiar thing. Ask about Jester. When I was in the labyrinth, Jester wouldn't leave my side. Jester is an artificial intelligence. He knows no rest or moderation. He only knows his goals. And his goal is to maintain the simulation stability, to make sure everything goes according to the scenario planned by the developers. He's the one that causes the simulation and the memories of its inhabitants to res reset. He uses that power and to delete all anomalies, like ourselves, unless he decides something is interesting, then he keeps it for examination. Ask about the labyrinth, the place we just left. Axis Mundi, the axis of the world, this world at least. That's the editor of the simulation you call reality. It can be used to make any changes as long as they comply with the elementary rules of the simulation. I built this labyrinth with the DigiNet's hands to protect myself from Jester. The inside of the editor does not get reset. What about you? Why should I trust you? I don't know anything about you. Everything I told you in the Tree of Knowing was true. I'm just another person trapped in the simulation. I learned the truth somewhat by accident. When it happened, Jester responded immediately by trying to wipe my memory. That's why I had to hide. It was in the last, no, it was two simulation cycles before. Soon another one will end and everything will be reset to its initial state. We'll both lose our memories. We need to act fast and work together. Do you understand? How did you survive the reset? Even though they reset the simulation on a regular basis, you've managed to keep your memories from the previous cycle. How? I split my cycle into two parts and uploaded it to different people's renderings into the brains of other actors living in the simulation. I picked structures that don't get wiped during resets, but they're not designed for storing personalities so I don't feel good about it. Still, thanks to the dispersion, the system stopped seeing me, so I could neither delete my memories nor myself as a whole. My Renin, Rendon was reset and filled with a new psych. I, could return, I couldn't return to it, powerless and divided. I waited until you found me. Tell me about the meeting in the tree. We spoke in the tree of knowing, why didn't you tell me what I needed to, hurry, or I would lose my memories? I did what I could. I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. Two seconds, lads, I need a drink. You were busy with Ken's death and some things you just need to see for yourself. I uploaded parts of my site to your Renan, Renan in the tree. Not all, not all of it, only the most vital. They're in your brain now, but they're compressed. My goal was to merge with you, but the process was interrupted. I couldn't extract myself, and we don't have the necessary tools here. The next reset is going to wipe us both. Tell me about the signals. Why were they sent to the Hon Clan members? One of the simulation rules says that its actors can only have one brain and one body. I, on the other hand, lost my brain in the reset. I saw what was happening through other people's eyes, but I couldn't do anything. So I talked to anyone who would listen. I wanted to show them the truth. Then Lord created a cult around it and used it to get rich. But you turned out to be smarter and entered the editor, the tree of knowing that is, where the tools that where what? Where there were tools that could change my state. 
the current situation. What do you expect of me? What are you doing here? We're in a simulation, remember? Could have teleported you anywhere. I just figured it would be less of a shock if I brought you somewhere familiar where we could talk in peace. And you decided to just walk into my bedroom with no warning to reduce my level of shock? I'm not here, Scott. Only you can see me. Get a grip. We have work to do. What to do next? Nobody trapped us. We were created. Now focus, please. You can't... You can't lift a container from the inside unless somebody gives you control over the crane. Our crane is the super couch called Eotron, a couch for developers that gives you full access to all simulation data. With this device, we'll find the locations of all BWI directors and investors that log in from Relium, and we'll have a talk. And why can't you do it yourself? You still don't get it. I'm a hallucination. I can't touch anything or go anywhere. I don't have a body. That's why I need you. We have the perfect opportunity now. BWI directors are holding an event for VIPs here, in the simulation. And why can't you use the editor? That's where the labyrinth was located too. Couldn't we have done it from there? It didn't work. Do you want to wait until who knows when and who knows where for that damn tree to show up again? Deotron will give us the full data. Right, let's do it. We go to the headquarters and crash their private party. Turn on your holovision and I'll show you. Look at me doing the moonwalk. <laughs> doing the moonwalk, baby. New stream was shown a commercial for an exclusive party organised by BWI for the Creators Club. It was an event for the customers who used the Pygmalion service to design a new human psych. It's a cover. The real BWI is organising a presentation for people from Relium. The guests from the Creators Club will only be there for their entertainment. How do we get there? I hacked the BWI system while we were in Access Mundi. You're on the guest list. They even sent you a new sent a new mobile for you. Tell me about the super couch. Why do you think the Deotron will be there? It's an exact replica of BWI headquarters before Access Mundi was created. Devs used a Deotron to create the simulation. It had to be there. Tell me about the people from Relium. How do I find them? How do we know they're not actors in the simulation? Eotron will help you. Some of them might even go to the Creators Club party, but they'll probably be observing everything from a distance. How do we find the couch? What next? How do I find the couch and the directors? Super Couch is a place called the D-Vault. People from the company board know how to get there. You'll need to convince someone to let you in. I'll help you. The new mobile from the Creators Club is waiting in the Towers parking lot. They're in a hurry. They need this party to be perfect. That's good. They'll let you in. No questions asked. What do you say? Are you interested? Are you in? Fuck it. I'm in, baby. We're in the same boat. We need to work together. I'm in there like swimwear. Fuck it. We've come too far. If he's pulling my plonker, then he's done it really well. In fact, I'm so confident I'm moonwalking to the fucking car. If, if, if that's not a sign of awesomeness, sign of truth, then I don't... Is, <laughs> the moonwalk is the sign of truth. Haggis' estate. Oh, hey now. This is posh as fuck. Oh, it's you. Resurrected in a way of your previous iteration. Fascinating. This wasn't Haggis from the simulation. He was on a couch in Relium. Not an agreement. Yes, I remember. I wanted to say that. Listen, I'll be happy to talk when I have a moment, but I'm here on business, so excuse me. What are you doing here if you're from Relium? You're lying on a couch somewhere at BWI's real headquarters. What are you doing here? This party is for... A joint BWI CA project, officially, in the simulation. Very important guests are here from Relium, unofficially. Do you know you've got a live clone in there? And a son and a wife? Fooled you, didn't they? They're just AIs. They're excellent, right? Tell me one more thing, Game Deck. What did you feel when you found out everything around you was a game? After all, it used to be your reality. I felt fascination. 
When you touch the hard walls, the fabric of your clothes, you simply can't believe it's not there, yet it is. Yes, the simulation is perfect. As I'm standing here, I also can't get over the feeling that... Ah, here comes Mr. CEO. Aim Deck, allow me to introduce my supervisor. President John Nabba, PhD, CEO of Blue Wheels Interactive, the real one from Relium. Good morning to you, sir. What an encounter. He lowered his glasses and looked me over for a moment. He has our game deck. I've heard about you, and believe me when I say it, the pleasure's all mine. Let's be nice. Good morning, Doctor. Magnificent product. Congratulations. You almost had me fooled. He smiled at me, then looked at Haggis. That's all now, Mr. Hag That's all for now, Mr. Haggis. I shall join you in a moment. Yes, of course. Haggis doesn't know he's got a clone in the simulation. Nor do some of the people at this party. Some of them just live in this world. I haven't fired this dimwit in Relium because there's another one in the simulation and it's too much hassle. Funny, isn't it? Say nothing. One of the fundamental principles of being a game deck is not revealing your thoughts to others. Listen, remember, observe, don't speak. Alright, to the point then. This party is the cover for a key presentation. Potential clients will see what the simulation is capable of. Old Knit in Paradise Beach will add some panache, see? Clients enter here from Relium, and from here they go deeper into Haggis' villa. I hope you'll behave. Actually, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do is bound to be fascinating. I'm your biggest fan. Say nothing. Jester urged me not to trust you, but his opinion is just the analysis of, a, of an AI stuck in the simulation bubble. I value actions over words. He looked at me th through his navy blue spectacles and let the last sentence sink in. Your target is the Deotron, a super couch. It's the only solution to each equation, no matter if you love us or hate us. Don't worry, your tenant can't hear us. Jester's blocking him. 314 is useless to us trapped in your head. We want him redispersed. You help us find, see, and finally understand him, but we can't examine him. He thinks Deotron can give him superpowers. We know this tool will prepare him to be extracted from your head. I hope you'll carry out the last act of this mission. Even if you don't trust us, you're still our agent. That's how it is with nasty corporations. He gave me a sad smile. Okay, enough chit chat. Jester will release the guest in your head. If he's kept deaf and blind for too long, he'll become suspicious. You'll be careful what you say, let's go. What the fuck? There's too much fucking double bluff and I don't even know what's real and what's not. See, these couches are guests are lying on them. Big wigs, heads of PMF, private military forces, ad agencies, all kinds of entities. Interested in learning human behavioural patterns, patterns in all kinds of situations. The nature of their work makes them less eager to ask. How BWI managed to develop such excellent simulations. They see us as the leader of the AI market and they're good with that. Impressing them means they'll buy our service. Where we offer them custom scenarios along with analysis. It's a great opportunity for BWI. Are you not afraid of getting found out? You're showing the simulation to Relium customers. You're not afraid of an actor in this circus suddenly yelling they're alive, self-aware. You want to try? Go ahead. <laughs> Let me tell you what will happen. The guests will nod their heads, awed by our brilliant AIs, and congratulate us. It'll be an event, an ad. My dear naive game deck, they're here looking for a good investment. They want to see a viable product. Nothing else matters. Are you afraid that 314 will make something go wrong? Um, is it a good idea to hold such an important event with 314 on the loose, sitting inside of my head and hatching a plan? No, but the dates for these meetings are arranged and many, many months in advance. The CEO of Crystal Dust will see us as unreliable. Should he hear... We've made a last minute change to the meeting date. Besides, you've met. Besides, you've met yet Tick and Rick. The alternative histories of his favourite mercs. We put them in just for him. Nanette Doucette, who we've enticed by preparing a scenario dedicated to her foundation, 
would also see us as unreliable partners. We have two BWI admin teams watching us, the Magnificent Three and the Steadfast Six. That's what we call them, we'll be safe. The fact that you're at this party proves that we place great stock in your actions and thoughts. We're hoping that 314 will show his hand, make a move that'll be impossible to miss and that you'll help us catch him, game deck. What about the presentation? What's it going to be about? A simulation is the first world in gaming history that allows you to enter sensory worlds from Relium. Acceleration lets you check a lot of iterations. We'll discuss this in the casual setting of Paradise Beach. Haggis' villa will be perfect. I hope the dimwit is lying down and looking after our guests. Most have already made it to the beach and I must join them. Move on. Let's go. I'm still like... Ah, da, da. I don't know what to think. A nice place though. To add some luster, in the eyes of the simulation residents, that is, we're invited we've invited a few local celebrities. Do you recognise Ken Zhao? Listen to the conversation with Eleonora. Shit. I listened intently while I keep my eyes on Ken and Eleonora's lips. What were they talking about? Mr Zhao, how can you stand such excruciating pain? It's amazing, exhilarating, to see you so Chief. Can I call you that? Boy, can you call me it? Whatever you want. It comes down to breathing and understanding the pain. It's just information. Once you master it, you know that it hurts, but it doesn't. Fascinating. And you can convince yourself that pleasure is just information. Chief, that's a dangerous question. I'd prefer I hadn't heard it, because now I might get into trouble. There will be no trouble, I promise. Wave to Ken. I waved to Ken. He paused his conversation, smiled and shot me with his fingers. He then resumed his discussion with Elnora. He doesn't know who I am. Sad, isn't it? He doesn't know you in this iteration. He achieved success in good or bads, became a celebrity. Why doesn't you recognise me? When you entered the Tree of Knowing in Knight's Code, Jester forced the simulation to reset. New scenarios were uploaded. This time Ken's game wasn't interrupted. Many things changed for many people. You're the only simulation resident who remembers the previous iteration. That's because you were in Axis Mundi during the reset. You can survive every end of the world in there. Let's go. You'll be going alone from here. Here's a key card. It'll open up the D vault entrance for you. It's a door over there. I must attend to the guests. I'll be entering Paradise Beach shortly. Do help us with 314. I'm counting on you. Why do you not trust me? The pieces on the chessboard have been set up. Anything that happens is meant to happen. Keep in mind that we always have the ultimate option of pulling the plug. Good luck. Join me in the elevator this way, please. I called the elevator, let's go down. I was going to let the chips fall where they may. This is wild. Elevator took me several levels down and stopped on an unmarked floor. There was a computer in the room. Oh shit. This is well enormous. Here we are. I didn't believe we would make it. God damn it. Something's happening to me. Where are we? Just as I said it's... We're in the D vault. This must be it. The drawers around us contain rendons with living psychs. The prisoners of the simulation. That's a lot, isn't it? Let's hear him out. Speak. I'm tired. I just want to end this, one way or another. Even if I have to destroy this whole shit show, I just want it to end. The simulation is a fucking nightmare. Somebody has to close up shop. What's bothering you about the simulation? You want to destroy a project worth billions of credits. Am I understanding you correctly? You don't understand shit. He gave me a bit of smile. But it's hard to not be oblivious while you're surrounded by nothing but lies. We live inside a prison and we have to break out. Do you see these thousands of Renans? Renans? They are people, damn it. Killed, tortured and respawned in more and more fucked up scenarios and for what? Just to check something. So that some corporate fool could see how a terrorist attack would affect the company's stock. I agree. 
Alpha Waste Sykes trapped in a horrible place, locked in the simulation, killed and reborn. You're right, we have to do something. You bet I'm right, after all, we're the same person. I did suspect this. I thought I was like a living reincarnation of this. That makes sense, that's why I've been drawn to you and you to me. I was following my own tracks. Yes. My tragedy is that the simulation doesn't have double brains. Once my iteration ended, I dispersed across multiple rendings. My random became host to iteration 315 and then 316, you. I am iteration 314, the first one to discover I was a simulation and the one that had to disperse to survive. But I've learned a lot in this, staying in multiple heads has given me substantial knowledge. The other benefit was that, apart from living people whose rendings I inhabited, I was invisible, no goddamn jester could see me. Say that he entered your renin because it's his brain as well. You did deceive me. Why keep this from me? There must have been a reason. Why wait to tell me this now? Is something going to change here to benefit you? He kept quiet for a moment. Just trust me, alright? Would I lie to myself? Mate, I don't trust you. I'm in your head, remember? But you're not complete. Not entirely unpacked. Damn it. Something's happening to me. I'm finally here. That terrorist is one stubborn beast. I'll give him that. Scott, you mindless robot. I'll tell you what to do, open your deck, I'll teach you how to turn it off. I can see him with your eyes, I can hear him. Don't listen to him, he's a psychopath, don't let him take control of you. Don't listen to that prick. Fuck it, I've come too far, side with 314. We might get, we might get fucked in the arse here yeah, but tough. 14, show me how to block Jester. I opened my deck and my twin shouted instructions from inside my head. I immediately did what he asked. It's still not too late, remember that. Thanks, now quickly, let's go to the Deotron before that bastard comes back. Oh my god, this is a... <sighs> what is even happening? Like, The Jester is really good at throwing doubt. I don't trust anybody, if I'm honest. I don't trust 314, I don't trust the Jester. But mainly I don't trust the Jester because we know he is the... He's just the gatekeeper of the the creation software I, I, do you know what I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna burn the whole fucking thing down right lads what I want to do is I want to call it an episode here actually when we come back we're gonna light this bitch up I don't know what to believe so I'm gonna burn it all to the ground see you there lads <laughs>